Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Uh, last time we were in the settlement, for want of a better phrase. It's, it ends up being more of a kind of scientific research facility or something. But let's say go with settlement of Branbal here on the planet of Terra. Yes, we went to a new world. Isn't it exciting? Um, <laughs> stop singing. So... We're going to just keep walking around the edge of the lake and through these doors into what is known as the meeting place. And talk to all these people looking at a crystal. The flow of souls means that a planet has life. The stoppage of souls means that a planet is dead. This is a recurring theme you get in a lot of, especially earlier Final Fantasy games. Yep, seven is the example I was thinking of. A planet's colour indicates its shape, apparently. Gaia is blue, Terra red. Okay, so, so what shape? Because in Oilver, they're both drawn as spheres. But anyway, fleeting knowledge is useless to vessels, but information is given to prevent mental atrophy. That raises questions. What are vessels? We'll come to that. Have no fear. Souls flow as the planets turn. When the souls of Terra and Gaia mix, Terra will be integrated into the larger Gaia. Planet's shimmer is its breath. Breath, a sign of life activity caused by the cycling of souls. Right, let's go down into the basement because basement. Uh, actually, yeah, we're gonna go down to the basement. Yeah. So I'm trying not to trigger the next bit of story as I do all this. Talk to the people down here. We measure their suitability as vessels for our research in order to create and grow a higher breed of genome. Okay, what's a genome? Response value three five six. Activity measurement 525 surpasses basic value. If this looks like a cloning experiment, there's a reason for that. <laughs> right, so we just found an elixir, and now we're going to go to the left part of Bran Bal. So we might as well just go straight through the meeting place, like this, and uh, see what we can find. Um, So, there are some angel earrings over here. Uh, so I'm just going to see... I can't remember who can equip angel earrings. It's probably ladies only. Oh, actually, hang on. I've now got a flash hat, so you can learn eye for eye. Cool. Um, oh, you've got a platinum helm, so you can equip that. Sorry, I'm just updating their equipment. To better reflect the fact that I got new shiny things. I'll stick with what I got for now. Let me just check. Okay, so angel earrings. I think they're in the accessory slot. Fairy earrings. Angel earrings. Oh yeah, I'd already got some. Yeah, it's just another pair. Right, um, and then we're just going to go down here, we're going to talk to the weirdo here. Hey, is there a place around here to get some rest? Why do you rest? Why? Don't you guys go to sleep at night? Not that I'm sleepy right now, but by night, do you mean the condition in which light recedes? Look, I don't have time for an interview, where can I find an inn? There is the entrance. Right there, huh? Gotcha. Don't go there yet because plot will happen and we don't want plot to happen just yet. Hey, what are you guys up to? You look like a kid to me. We possess no age. We were built this way. Cue singing. Um, Alright. We're going to go this way. And we're going to follow this path along. And we're going to find a shiny. Flash hat. Yeah, I know I just bought one, but whatever. And then just go all the way back. Now, if you were to go up here, you'd come out at the area here that you were at earlier on. Um, I went right first because that's the furthest away from plot. Uh, but now we've got nothing else to do other than just go in the inn and let Dagger get a little bit of rest. This is a weird inn, but never mind. This looks like a good place for Dagger to get some rest. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so stiff. 
I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. Well, first things first, I've got to bring Dagger back here. Excuse me. Do you have any medicine? Hello? Is there a place I can buy some medicine around here? Hello? I'm asking if you have any medicine. Urgh, how come this place is full of weirdos? Everyone has a tail like Zidane. Oh, if I could only find some Pimo Pimo herbs. I could make some wake-up powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No. Huh? Found ya! You're that girl, right? It's your fault Dagger collapsed, you know. Oh, never mind. Say, don't you have any medicine at all? She will soon awaken. How do you know? Where is your man? M my man? My man? Are you talking about Zidane? Even I never called him that. But too bad for you, he and Dagger are super hot for each other. You don't have any chance with him. Tell him I am waiting in the underground laboratory. Oh, sorry, I dropped my previous voice for that weirdo. Oh, the nerve! What makes you think I'd tell him that? Hey, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo. Uh-oh, I don't have time for this. Dagger, princess, why must you suffer more? Damn it! What is the matter, Zidane? You haven't been yourself at all. What the heck do you mean I haven't been myself? I'm sorry, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just I just can't concentrate with this blue light. Ahem, <clears throat> cough, cough, cough. Just gonna leave it there for a moment, see if it's sunk in. Okay. Ah, princess, you have awoken. What made you lose a consciousness so suddenly? I remembered. Remembered what? I, it wasn't a storm that destroyed Madain Sari. It was it was the eye on that airship that destroyed Madain Sari. You remember, don't you? The eye was also there when Alexandria was levelled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which light emanated. Now that you mention it, it was there when Bahamut went wild at the Eiffel Tree. Yes, it was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the ship that slew Her Majesty, Rusty. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Princess. Oh, don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. Well, that was convenient, wasn't it? You say already, but you spent a long time in mute. Anyway. That ship took everything from me. It took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandria. Everything. How terrible. Sorry. Really? <laughs> how terrible, not how terror. Bull. <laughs> Yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still pale. you got to rest. Hmm? How come everyone's looking so pale? What's wrong? No need to be concerned. A strange place such as this is cause enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Oh, that's right. That weird girl, the girl that led us here, uh, said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory. What a pervert. Iko's words, not mine. Zidane? Right. So go back inside here. Treasure chest. Give me your shinies. And you get an elixir. Found some medicine at last. Do you wish to rest too, Zidane? Yeah, why not? Rest is good for the soul. Yeah? And let's talk to Steiner Princess. Why must you suffer more? It's okay, I'm watching over Dagger. God freaking damn it. Yes. Never mind. Right, so there's not really much else for you to do other than to go to the underground laboratory. It's underneath the meeting place. You can kind of see where this is going. Hey, look at all these special snowflakes. What? What? She's giggling like an idiot. Hey, look, new person. Let's talk to you. Oh, so that's what's going on. Jeez. I should have guessed. So this is what you wanted to show me? Yes. I am glad you understand. The voice is different every single time. I am aware of that. <laughs> Maybe she is tripolar. I, 
I don't want to understand. Sorry, but I'm not like that. I mean, all these guys with tails who look just like me, they're a bunch of zombies. But they are my peers. We are genomes. We live in this village. Genomes, is that what they're called? Not just them, but you and me too. It is the name of the seed given to all of us. Its name is Genome. Yes, well done. The genome is the name for the set of DNA. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Well done, pseudoscience. Talk about a letdown. Who would have guessed that the home I've yearned for would be a dump like this? I love Zidane. He's like, yep, come to a new planet. Turns out I was born here. What a friggin' dump. And that's it. Yeah. You can imagine him just from Yorkshire. What the hell is this place? That oh, was a terrible Yorkshire accent. I'm so sorry to everyone from Yorkshire. To everyone. To everyone from Yorkshire. Oh my, I'm going to stop now. Uh, no wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy? You have returned to the... Sorry. Why are you not ha... No, I don't care. You've returned to the place of your birth. Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at them! Look at all their blank faces! What can we do after all? Baby, we were made that way. Um. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> and we are built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. What's it all for? Get to the point already. I love Zidane in this situation. It's just like, stop monologuing. What are you... Get, ugh, get on with it. How come I grew up on Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive. I have a soul. Why is everyone here so... Because you are... Special. <laughs> yeah, I said I'd stop. I'm sorry. What? We are mere vessels. We have been given a greater purpose. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who's that? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Someone pops up. Garland? He's the bad guy from Final Fantasy 1! Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Oh, maybe. R restore the people of Terra? You mean people besides these guys here? Maybe Final Fantasy 1 is the world of Terra. I don't think they ever actually name it. I think they just call it the Blue Planet. They are merely vessels. So am I and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a sec, so the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia? What else can there be? Terra has always absorbed new planets to survive. And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genome. Such is the restoration of Galactus. I mean, of the people of Terra. Why do they have to be so tedious? Yes, you've just learned that someone is threatening to destroy the world that you love. And your response is... Boring. Anyway, there's a reason Zidane is one of my, my, my favourite protagonists in a computer game. Yes. Now that's not to say Zidane is completely one-dimensional. That's not to say that none of these words have any effect on him, but more on that later. Why don't they just wipe us out with magic like they did on Alexandria? Once, Garland tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. Then he should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilization gained tremendous power. The power to use Eidolons. So that's why you attacked the Summoner's Village and destroyed Alexandria. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. And you were supposed to help him achieve that. What? Garland is waiting for you. Come. What do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this terror and Gaia stuff. So Dane isn't back yet. And with Dagger not feeling well, I wonder where he is. Iko. No, Dagger, you can't get up yet. 
I'm alright. Listen, I want to ask a favour. Oh, just tell me and I'll get right on it. I want you to go find Zidane. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, I get it. You're getting jealous. No, I'm not. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. It's really, really unsubtle the way they're kind of like going, Ominous! Ominous! Alright, I'll go get him. So just stay here and rest. It would be like having a guy in the background dressed in black going... Oh wait, they do. We met a guy in black earlier on. Oh well, never mind. I wonder what his name is. Hmm. Alright, I'll go get him. You just stay here and rest. Active time event. Place to call home. <laughs> We're not going Naruto. Hey, what big stone? Why you all watch stone? Is stone edible or is it for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mind, right? I love Queena. Mm. Is very salty. Oh, who that? What you doing here, Zidane? Huh? Oh, hi, Quina. You stand here, say nothing. Then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zidane, what matter? You know seem yourself. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look just like your master, too. Of course, Master Quail is Q-Clan. We same. Yeah, I guess everybody looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm, maybe you're right. Racism. What he say? Same race? That's not racism. I'm not going to get into that debate at the moment. Yeah, of course. Another ATE where the heart is. Excuse me. So, um, what do you guys do here? Hmm. Oh yeah, this blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? Huh? It's that girl. Hmm. Hey Zidane, what are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Fifi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh, but I think I can get through to them. Huh. I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I, I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but no, no, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clara. Of course, we don't look alike at all, but I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. Hmm, not hollow, huh? Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Zidane? Another ATE came into this world. This way. Hey, Zidane. What do you want? What? There's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some meme mothers down here, but they're all a bunch of wimps. No challenge, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Amaran, can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is of the face of a guy I had to fight. I only found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense, all due to my wonderful influence. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Thank you? Please. You're going to make me sick. How about you? What? You mean my parents? I don't have parents. Slightly quirky phrasing, but never mind. Right, I forgot, of course, to go down here and uh, retrieve people. The truth. Lots of ATEs at this point. There's a lot of exposition in this section. Hey, where are you taking me? 
I told you, you are going to see Garland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep. The floating castle where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. Well, that doesn't sound good. Spooky! Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. In some ways, Zidane is rather hypocritical. He always goes to help other people and then, like, something happens to him and he tries to do it on his own. Oh, Waiko, what happened to Zidane? He seemed much worry. I don't know, he just left without saying a word. We go look for Zidane together. Now, this is not a party you're actually going to get into any combat with, so don't worry too much about that, but you do pick up a party on the way. Hey, Aiko, Zidane just went... You saw Zidane? Uh, yeah. Hello, why didn't you stop him? Huh? How come? He, he was acting kind of strange. If you're looking for him, I'll go with you. Only the Chosen may unlock the barrier. Say, Amaranth, did Zidane go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. I knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift? And voila! You have formed a party of four characters. Um, there isn't really much for you to do at this point. This point? Oh, good lord. Um, <laughs> except go forwards, onwards for great justice. Across here. Up here. And there isn't really much to do other than talk to little Miss Creepy over here with the weird boxer shorts. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Zidane? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. I, some of the characters in this game are like, well, that's creepy. Ico's one of them. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went, yes, he went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar! That's a terrible lie. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Whilst technically that is not false, he did say that. That's one of those where his statement taken rather out of context. He also said, I'm going to go and deal with this family business myself. So... Yeah. <gasps> We've got to tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. It's like these guys just suddenly stumbled across Paradise Lost and started quoting bits of it everywhere. Uh, so this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. There isn't any other way to go than forward. So, we meet again. Huh? Love the music. Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I'm glad you have returned. Shut up! Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down, but first you're gonna tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia and why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into terror. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You're growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. 
the time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of terror has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. Someone really went heavy on the organ for this particular section. But I like the music, so nuts to it. Follow him. You haven't got any other choice. Welcome to Pandemonium. Stop! Right now. Thank you. No. Now, tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terror when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother, and his name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He's only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up! I'm not like him at all! He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like those guys. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then, why the disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war? And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Baal, Kuju could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuju discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Guja, to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that is why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition, or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And what exactly do you gain by disrupting the cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of terror. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus, war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone and Gaia becomes terror. But how? You saw it with your own eyes, you saw the Aoife tree and the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of soul divider, the mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist, so much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of terror flow freely. Come and see for yourself, see the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about and what is this weird light? That is the centre of the planet, the end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong 
to Terra and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the ether tree to prevent the cycle of the judgement of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the ether tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of ether. Yes, my angel of death, but only until you came of age. Do you mean... His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. <laughs> well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter. All the tears I've shed with the people I grew up on, Gaia. Forget all that, you are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power, if I only had a place to call home. My brothers in Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaran, Queena, Steiner, Ico and Dagger. My home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra, that's reason enough for my birth here as a Geno. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am a new angel of death, yours. It gets a little bit cheesy with the, uh, words. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up, I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. 